It's not a political decision. It's a, it's a reality of life, or at least it's going to be a, rea a reality of life. Um, people who play football manager play for many seasons, so you might play for 10 or 20 seasons. That's perfectly natural. And sometime over that course of, in the real world, Brexit is going to happen or is very likely to happen. So those scenarios about how many foreign players you can have, for example, mm -hmm. are very real and you're, as it were, pretend football managers will mm -hmm. be dealing with them. Yeah. Uh, virtual football managers, not pretty. better word. Better. <laughs> um, they will be dealing with with them, but the problem we have is that we don't know what form that's going to take. So we've had to uh, simulate numerous different scenarios. We've got we've a whole range from a really very hard Brexit to a, a, a virtually non-existent soft Brexit as well. So does the player get to choose what type no. of Brexit it is? No, no, it just gets thrown up. Two people could sit side by side and start a game simultaneously and they'd both get very different Brexit experiences. And how did you actually get the information? Maybe the cabinet had briefed you. They don't seem to have told you <laughs> so made their mind up. Yeah, they, they told you what around. was going to happen. No, we've had to talk to experts, which I know wouldn't please many people in this whole debate, but um, we talked to people in football. We talked to people in politics. We... Nobody seems to know what's happening is the problem, which is why we've had to put so many different uh, varieties, variations in.